Next, we're going to talk about how to send batch emails through Follow Up Boss. Um, an, an example of a good use for this would be, say you wanted to send something to all of your nurturers. You don't need to necessarily send them a, a something specific to a transaction or specific to a listing right at the moment, but you just want to send them a, a check-in market update sort of thing. Um, the way you will do this is you would put a checkbox next to anybody that you want to send a batch email to, and then you're going to click up here on this icon of an envelope that says batch email. Um, there's a little box up here that says include all email addresses. All this is asking is if you have a contact with multiple email, email addresses, do you want to send to both or multiple addresses or just to one email address for that particular contact? I think you probably just want to send it to one, so I'll leave it unchecked, but that's up to you. Um, once we're in this field, we have the option of either creating a new email or using a template. If you wanted to create the email yourself, the email subject can be whatever you'd like it to be. Definitely want to pick something with a great hook and that's going to keep their interest. Um, and then here down in the body of the email, you can put in whatever you like. Your signature block from your My Settings will automatically be added. So you'll want to be sure that that looks nice and is current and updated. Um, in both case, in both the subject line and the body of the email, you have merge fields that you can use. This is just a way to customize these emails. So if you want to say, you know, hi, and then like, for example, if we say hi, and then we enter contact first name, I did that wrong, down here, hi, and then we enter their first name, and then, then for every email that goes out, the system will just insert their first name. Or for example, if you wanted to do, to do a subject line that said something like, you know, um, insert their first name, uh, customized home valuation report or something like that, right? So different ways you can use these merge fields to customize your email. Either way, if you if you draft it up yourself and you finish it, um, you'll see an icon or a button down here that allows you to preview the email. This will show you what it will look like to each individual recipient. Um, and then once you've got it, uh, once you've got it to the point that you like it, um, I all just wanted to send along this info. Let me look at the preview. Right, that, that's what it looks like. And then when you're ready to send, you hit send email to five people. If you're not, if you don't have something that you want to necessarily say to, to, to these folks, but you'd like to use a template, there's tons of them in here you can use. So click on the use a template button. There's 297 in here. Most of them were designed by a follow-up boss or designed by some other user. You feel free to browse those and grab any of them that you think are, in, are interesting. We've started adding and we will continue to add some more PHT custom email templates. For example, this one is about a Halloween trick-or-treating event in Excelsior that we're inviting leads to. So, hold on. Sorry about that. So for this one, you can see that we've got the merge field used right there for their first name. And then it talks about, hey, our team is hosting a trick or treat site, blah, blah, blah. Here's a, here's a graphic. Um, and then you would preview it and it's going to show you that's what it will send to each person in your list. Right. And then you can just click on send. This is a great way to send out a group of emails to a group of people without having to, to customize every single one to them individually, but so that they're still keeping you top of mind.